Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making a spring baby headband. This cute little headband is made out of a rolled flower using felt and fabric, and it makes this sweet little rosette. We're going to attach it to some stretchy lace to give us this cute little headband. Let's grab some supplies and get started. Now the first thing you're going to need is a rolled flower. To learn how to make these, please click on the video in the up right, upper right hand corner. You can just click on the video and it will take you to a tutorial where I show you step by step how to make these sweet little flowers. You use felt, just craft felt and fabric. This is a fantastic way to use up little scrap pieces of fabric that you have on hand and you use a heat bond adhesive that adheres the fabric to the felt and then you cut it and roll it up into this cute little flower. So click on that video to learn how to do that. Then you'll need some tool for the leaf and this is just going to give us a little pop of green. I have tool that's a little bit sparkly but plain tool will work also and you can either buy it by the yard or on a spool. You'll need a ruler or something to measure with. Then we'll need something to attach our flower to. So I've got this stretchy lace. Any type of stretch elastic will do. I will put the link to where I purchased this lace below. I do buy it online from a store that I've really, really liked. Then I have my glue gun set on low because it's easier to work with the glue, especially in this project. And then sharp scissors. I put a little pink dot with fingernail polish on this pair of scissors so my kids won't steal them. That way they stay nice and sharp when you're cutting fabric. Okay, the first step is to make your flower. Now you'll follow those instructions in my basic tutorial on how to do this. The only thing that's different is instead of using a four inch square piece of fabric and felt, you'll actually start with a two inch piece of fabric and felt. And what that will do is we'll end up with a one inch rosette. You can actually use any type of, or any size of flower you'd like for this, but I really like the one inch rosette. It seemed to work really well for a baby headband. Then you're going to grab your tool and you're going to cut out a one and a half by one and a half inch square. And then what we're going to do is from this, we're going to cut a leaf. So I kind of just round off two of the edges. It does not have to be perfect, just to kind of give you that leaf shape. Then just put a small dab of glue right at the end of your leaf flip it over and kind of pinch where the glue is. I let my glue set for just a second so when I pinch it, it doesn't burn my finger. So be careful on that part. And you can see when I stick it right behind the flower, it just looks really sweet. Then you're going to cut out your stretch elastic or in this case, your lace. You'll cut it out according to whatever size of baby or child you're making it for. And you can click on a link below that will give you a chart of baby headband sizing. So that will also be in the comments. Just click on that to figure out what size you need to cut the elastic. And then I just loop it around, put a little dab of glue and hold it together and the glue will just hold it so you have this little headband. Then I'm going to grab the same color of felt that I used in my flower and I'm going to cut out a square that will fit on the back of my flower. And then from the square, I cut a circle and it does not have to be perfect. As you can see here, that's not a perfect circle. You just want it to cover the back of your flower. Then grab your little rosette and flip it upside down. And then you're going to put the little leaf on the back. And I just kind of decide where I want it from the front and just glue it on the back. And then right where you overlapped your lace, you're going to grab your flower, put a line of glue on the flower, and then I actually take my lace and place that onto the glue and hold it down firmly so it sets. And that way you have your flower centered. Then you're going to grab the little round circle that you cut out, and you're going to place that right on the back over the back of the flower. And this will make it nice and soft on the back so it's not scratchy and so it's soft against your baby's head. And you're all set guys. These are really fast and easy to make. I love that you don't have to uh, sew at all. And it was a really fun, sweet project for spring. These totally remind me of spring and I've got a couple of really sweet little nieces that I'm excited to give these to. 
It's also, like I said, a really great way to use up extra pieces of fabric and a fun way to match different types of outfits. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out some of my other baby headband tutorials, as well as some of my other tutorials. You can check those out on my YouTube channel or at untidyartist.com. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. That would be fantastic. Give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.